The service was ridiculous. There was 12 of us. We each received our food one by one. Drinks, no straws, food or napkins. No one came to refresh our table or offered to refill drinks until we were through with our food. There appeared to be a bullet hole in both the wall and the seat where we sat. The waitress came to take our cards all at once at the end and was returning cards to the wrong people. Thank goodness we all knew one another and could correct the error. We later noticed that myself and another family member ended up paying for each other's bills. The server was completely lost. The entire experience for my granddaughter's birthday was ridiculous. I ended up giving my half of my food away to another family member. We couldn't get two of the necessary things at the same time without first having to ask for it four or five times. The young lady indicated she was new. I thought it was rather obnoxious that either she wasn't properly trained or wasn't shadowed by someone who could take, who could make sure that their customers were completely satisfied with the service from a new waitress. We all felt as though we wasted our money and trip. We won't be showing our faces there again. It appeared that all of the focus was on the bar. The menus are not good like they used to be. Completely dissatisfied with the experience. The, the restrooms was so nasty and atrocious. Completely unacceptable. That means that the people who serve our food also had to use those restrooms. Return to the kitchen and service us. Absolutely terrible experience. We were told it was a 45 minute wait and when the restaurant was practically empty, this was two hours prior to close and when I asked the manager, we were seated then after nearly 20 minutes, we were never even served drinks. This is my second experience in the Applebee's with pathetic service near closing time. I worked for this company for nearly two years. Unacceptable. Absolutely rude. Didn't even get a chance to eat or drink anything. Everyone was seated for about 20 to 30 minutes and the waitress never came to take drink orders. Two ladies came in after us and the waitress took their order right away. Left. Will not be back. Worst experience I've ever encountered at Applebee's. I ordered my child a chicken corn dog meal. Once the meal came out, I, I checked my child's food and the, the corn dog is still cold. As if it came straight out of the fridge. They go to get her another one and the same exact thing. So of course I'm upset because why did my child bite into a cold corn dog to begin with? The second one, the dough was still undercooked. I spoke to the manager and they offered me another corn dog. If I have ever given you two chances to cook the corn dog, why would I give a third? During this time, 
the, the two adults' meals were, were served and my child hadn't even received her drink. Once I got my ticket, there are extra items on my ticket. So I asked them to remove the additional items that I never even ordered. All this occurred when the restaurant wasn't even busy. This was not our normal Applebee's experience. The manager didn't even attempt to rectify or apologize for the horrible service. Stopped in at about 12.30 p.m. Sunday, May 1st at the Applebee's in Montgomery on Taylor Road. There were four at our table. We all ordered a drink and an appetizer, and while we were waiting on the drinks, I noticed a family of four come in and be seated before we even received our drinks. I noticed that family had drinks and appetizers. We finally received our drinks, and I just happened to be facing that direction and noticed that family were already receiving their meals. Before we got our first meal, that family had already eaten and left the restaurant. There were only five or six tables of folks in there at any given time. Well, an hour had passed and we finally started receiving our food. And while the three of us did, we waited and waited and finally just gave up on the other plate, share what we had. And we'd been there for two hours by then and they brought my friend's plate out. We told them to cancel, of course. The waiter said he would have to get a manager. He told them, please, the food that we received wasn't terrible. The service was biased and probably the worst I've ever received in any restaurant. I'm not sure if it was racially motivated or the fact that we were all on bikes. I would not recommend this restaurant to anyone. came to pick up food and I asked for the chicken to be separate from the salad. That didn't happen. And they per a cold salad with hot food. They act like it was okay and didn't really care. Got sick as soon as we ate appetizer and had to leave all food that was made in Greece was the problem. Never going back again. Jaquela's customer service was awful as a waitress. Bad attitude and didn't give us a straw or ask if we needed anything while we ate. And the greeter didn't even actually greet us. She just said, you want a booth or a table for two? She also wasn't in place. We had to wait for her to finally walk up. This was at around 5.15 p.m. on May 13th, 2022. So, I don't do this often and I, I don't like doing this, but service was subpar. We were seated at 8.10 and our two kids, there are four of us at the table, did not receive their food until 9.00. We are still sitting here and it is 9.32 and we have not received our food yet. So in essence, the service from waitress to kitchen to waitress to table was pretty pathetic. I don't blame a single person. It's all about knowing the organization and the staff, understanding how to provide for their guests. I give it a one star because they are putting... They are trying, but I won't be coming back since during the pandemic, the food industry is at less than normal capacity and they try and state that they are extremely busily. Slow. We received, we, we arrived at the mostly empty restaurant, two other tables occupied at 7 p.m. Ordered by 7.10 p.m. Got our food after two other tables who arrived after us got their food around 5, 8.05 p.m. 
food was mediocre, and personally, I feel sick, nausea, and upset stomach. The manager was nice about it, but $10 off doesn't make up for ruining our evening. Getting home an hour later, eating super late and feeling uncomfortable, and taking away our Sunday evening chill time to prepare for Monday. Disaster. Avoid. Horrible service took 45 minutes to get chips and quizio. Charged full price for entree that came out with no sides when two were ordered. Wife's meal came out after I completed my steak. We'll not be going back there, not to mention it took 15 minutes just to get drinks. We were planning on ordering dessert. But after that fiasco, we will knit be coming back. The host on the phone kept giving wrong wait timing and very rude. This place has went downhill with customer service, food was cold, and expectations fell off. My husband and I decided to visit Applebee's on Taylor Road this past Sunday, and I was really excited about eating out because it's been a, a minute. I'll start by saying my waitress was great, but when she brought my bourbon chicken with shrimps on top and broccoli in a skillet, that's when the visit went downhill. The chicken was dry and tough. Shrimp number four was only rubbish, and the few broccoli they gave with the meal was burnt. How do you burn broccoli? Yes, I called for management, and the first thing he said was, Tell me what's wrong with the meal. As if it wasn't obvious, even Stephen Wonder would have uh, seen this mess was not fixed properly, but I did what anyone would do and explained the best I could in the most proper voice I could, because at this point, I was upset. The manager finally acknowledged the broccoli were burned and said that it should not have been put in the skillet. It should have been placed alongside the skillet in a separate bowl. And he asked if he could prepare another meal or give me a free dessert. No, the meal was not offer for free, just the dessert. He said that my the way my husband wouldn't have to eat alone, I denied it, and I watched my husband patiently. When he finished, we paid, heard more apologies than left. My night was ruined, all because management wouldn't say because we served this horrible meal to you. We will either give you a free meal or your next meal will be the house for our mistake. No, he wants to give a free dessert. Really, I am dieting, and I didn't want dessert. I wanted my meal cooked right. Applebee's, please help your managers make better decisions next time, or take them back training because his training wasn't displayed this time. And the cook needs training again before this happened to someone important since I wasn't important enough and my time was of no value. Training is needed at Taylor Road Applebee's. My husband and I ordered the bourbon chicken and uh, shrimp. I ordered the six ounce ribeye steak with red potatoes and broccoli. None, and I mean none of the food has any seasoning on it. The best thing we had was uh, the appetizer, which were boneless chicken wings and they were very good. This was our second time trying Applebee's. We won't be back for a third. It was awful. 
An experience expensive for the quality received. We got two for twenty-five, and our drinks were two fifty each. We wouldn't have minded paying the price if the food tasted good, but for the food value, it wasn't worth it at all. My steak was tough; it could use a chainsaw. Thank you, Kimberly Slawsberry. The one stars for the server who was great. The food was super salty. And I like salt. The riblets were burnt and tough. The hostess was so nonchalant and soft-spoken. Our waitress even said she didn't understand her most of the time. Not the type of person to have on the front line. The hostess even apologized for the bad service on the way out. Not inclined to go back to this location. The air is all out in there. It feels like what I've just experienced. I'm not going to stay on the straight and narrow. They really need to close down until they get their air fixed. Think about it. All the heat out of the kitchen coming into the dining area. The workers and patrons in there with menus. Banning trying to cool down. Straight said. I don't know how my food and drink was because I was too hot to tell. The greeter was courteous, but was not unintelligible. Perhaps because of the mask. Said something about using a barcode on the table for our menu. I did not understand how to access that. When the server came, I asked her what I needed to do to get a menu. She became very rude and sarcastic. My wife and I got up and left. I will not be back. So, this entire experience was horrible. I ordered a triple appetizer plate and they bring each item over on separate plates about 10 minutes apart. So I'm being a good sport with no complaints. They bring me and my wife I drinks and uh, which both tasted horrible. But I'm still being a good sport. No complaints. Then the main dishes come out and my food is completely burned, torched, engulfed, cremated. I really wish I can upload pictures on here because I did take some. I can smell the burning. So I tell the waitress, who was a darling. Then she advised me that it's not normal and she'll tell me she'll bring some more food. When she arrived with the replacement while attempting to gather the old ones, she spilt half of my Long Island iced tea on my plate. I really can't make this up, so please bypass this restaurant on top of that. She charged me for a drink that she spilled in my food. I told her I wasn't paying for it, and she told me I was since I consumed half of the drink. I had no, I had to speak to a manager to get that drink taken off. Worst experience ever. My burger was red, and they have bad service and very unprofessional, especially the cooks. Let's go to a different Applebee's.
If I can give a zero, I would. This place is so dirty. They don't clean the bathroom, even though the paper on the walls say they do. I ordered boneless wing. Came out dry. The lemon that came with my wonton nachos looks like it is two months old. And it took the waitress like 15 minutes before she could took our drink order. Took like 30 minutes for our drink from the bar to come to our table. There was hardly anyone there. I really appreciate the fact that this man photographed the bathroom for us to enjoy. I ordered car side to go, which I have ordered many times before. There is no way to check in, so you have to either go in or call in. I was feeling well or dressed to go I, to go inside, so I tried to call in and was hung up on several times. I waited outside 45 minutes, and not a single employee has come outside to give any orders. I finally gave in and went inside, despite not really wanting to go inside, and was left unattended and waiting for another 30 minutes. When I finally got assistance, the employee was extremely rude, and my food was cold. And when I got home and really got into my order, the steak I had was extremely overcooked and cold. I had fried food packaged in the same font as wet food and it got soggy and there was a date sticker cooked onto the side of my dish i usually like it to order here but i never had an experience this terrible i will not be returning hey theola thank you for that appreciate that oh Delicious. Absolutely terrible. The cheese sticks was nasty and the ribs was cold. The fries was good though. The mac and cheese was dry and didn't have no mac nor cheese. They came back to the table to make sure he was okay with drinks or was we enjoying our meal? Nothing. We'll never come back. This was by far the worst experience I've ever encountered in my life. I sat at the bar and my waitress was very unprofessional, impatient, and it just seemed she had an attitude the entire time. She seemed not to be concerned with the customers or concerns. I waited almost 30 minutes before she asked me for my order. The portions of fries are very small compared to other locations. I had to get up and get my own napkins. After receiving my food, I was never checked on. I asked for a refill and was completely forgotten about, so... I just asked for my check and left. I love Applebee's, but I probably will never be back to this location. Since this was my first time here and my first impression, most definitely the worst customer service I've ever experienced. It's always something with this Applebee's. I hate that they only have one here. I did car side pickup. I always have to wait beyond the time frame of when your food will be ready. A couple minutes, I get it, but an additional 20 minutes, plus like, come on. I, I wish they would fill the spinach dip container up. 
Not only was it filled up halfway, but it was cooked on to the sides. Would you eat that? There was a cigarette in my spinach dip, and the brownie was smaller than a Roku remote. Applebee's in Tampa Bay seem to be Tampa Tampa Florida seem to be okay The place was empty. Still waited nearly an hour for food. Drinks ran dry twice. No one really checking in on us. Next time I'll go elsewhere. On a positive, our waitress was fun and friendly. all-you-can-eat boneless wings. I'm still not convinced they didn't toss rocks and barbecue sauce and serve them. Worst wings I've ever had. As I was eating, I remembered why I hadn't been here in several years. Me and my brother went the other day to get some food to eat. Bad idea. It took us at least 10 minutes to get seated and uh, the place wasn't even packed. Once we got seated, it went downhill from there. We'll be going back. We walked out with no food. Hey, Craig, thank you for that. Appreciate that. Incinerated chicken strips, forgot to bring a side yet charged full price, neglected to bring a refill after being asked, another waiter dropping the f-bomb near some children, mold in the ceiling panels, actual mold, not discoloration, a leaking vent in the ceiling, and a menu which is about as unhealthy as one can get. It was the first time in at least five years I've been in an Applebee's and this one needs to close. Advent Horizon Visuals, appreciate that, thank you. Spent over an hour and a half, 20 minutes to get seated, another 10 for the waitress. Ordered the boneless wings and the two for 30 meals. The wings were so hard and they were uneatable. The ribs, they had so much seasoning that you could scrape it off. They were chewy. My waffle fries were almost black. 
waitress said it was the old grease. And when asked if I wanted another order, I mean, really? The manager couldn't come to the table. The waitress knocked two dollars off and we only ate three of the wings and four bones of ribs. Usually there's threes. Threes a month. We'll, we'll not be going to. Walked in and no one greeted us or offered to seat us, even though the place was mostly empty. And I could see three employees who were just standing about. Later I saw the same thing happen to the next people who walked in. When I went to the bathroom, the hostess was in there on a FaceTime call with her friend. So I guess that's why she doesn't do her job. Also, the bathroom was even dirtier than gas station bathrooms. Actually, the whole restaurant is disgusting. We had to wave down a waiter to get a refill on our drinks, but uh, then they never did, so we never got a second waiter. Finally, to do it. Never, so we never got a second waiter, finally, to do it. We also couldn't find anyone to bring our check when we were ready to pay. Had to walk around the place looking for someone to ask. There are hundreds of bad reviews on here. I wish I'd read more beforehand. If hundreds of people say the same thing about a bad place for years, then they are fully aware of the issues and choose not to fix any of it. Do not eat here. The smell here is what you would experience in an episode of Hoarders. I gave it a try anyway. The bartender was very friendly and polite, so what the hell? I ordered some drinks and food. The salmon was not intact, but in pieces, and came with some of the grills char on as toppings. Who knows what this was? Can't argue with Rawl here. I wish I could put zero stars. Went in politely and waited for a table to sit down at. Didn't get waited for a solid 15 minutes. Waiter told us it could be about 15, 20 minutes. continued to do other things besides help us out. Absolutely ridiculous. So many applebees and so such a close proximity to one another.
many Applebee's to choose from. Oh, I want a nice three-star Applebee's. Looks like the... Applebee's and Cleveland seem to be generally okay. seat for 20 minutes in a restaurant that wasn't even near halfway full. I literally had to call and ask to be seated. Our waitress was the bartender, so I already expected neglect, but not this much. She brought us our drinks, and after about 15 minutes with not enough straws, after waiting for so long for her to return to the table, I just got up and found my own straws. Appetizers usually come out, and uh, guess what? No utensils. So we waited again for the waitress to return, which didn't happen anytime soon. So my boyfriend just got up to find more utensils. The appetizers were good, pretty normal. Some other people from the back came out to bring our entrees. I ordered a salad. The ranch dressing was so watery and thin, almost like milk. My kids said their yogurt tasted like cheese. The bathroom was disgusting. Floors were sticky and toilet paper got stuck to my shoes. At this point, I'm just ready to get out of there. We did not have to hunt down someone for a check. The waitress did bring that and offered refills after we'd already been sitting for about 45 minutes to an hour. I will never return to this location. I just wanted to enjoy some family time after work, but was so disappointed the entire time. Food was all over the floor. No staff member bothered to clean it. Waited for a good 10 minutes for someone to come up and create us even though lady that was taking the order was not polite didn't even bother to look at us just turned her back to us and stood there waiting what she was waiting when i received my credit card statement Extra tip was added on, not what I wrote. I had to file a dispute with the bank. Rolled my wife in in a wheelchair. Waitress saw us coming and ran away, not even holding the door. Waited five minutes to be seated after walking in. Once seated, waited 20 more minutes for someone. No one came to our table. My wife called the same waitress over that ran away. Ask her who was serving our table. She had the nerves to say, no one, this section is closed. A total of four to five serves saw us waiting and said nothing. What? I don't understand. Why were we sat there from the get go? I guess you get what you get at a chain place ordered the 12 ounce ribeye December 19th totally not worth what I paid spent a hundred and fifty four dollars 
Steak was undercooked. Order medium. Got medium rare. Best part was the mixed drink. Made me feel I got robbed without a gun. Oh, how I miss Applebee's on the 29th. You know, I mean, I just, if you pay $154 for a steak at Applebee's, I think you're kind of asking for a problem. Hey, John Smith, appreciate that. Thank you. I tried to order from Pantops, Applebee, but the girl that does the order was rude and would not take my order. 3 p.m. to 3.30, kept hanging up saying she did not like my attitude. All I asked was to pay over the phones. The would not take my order plus hung up on me five times. Thank you, Glenmore Community Association for that all cap locks review. Hills of Science. Silence. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. It's Applebee's. The food and the service are only going to be mo mediocre. Our waitress took our order and then was never seen again. Literally never. Someone else brought our food. No one checked on us. No one offered drink refills. No one brought the check. Other than that, the restaurant is absolutely filthy, disgusting. The silverware was spotted on, and, and the table had a certain stickiness that comes from using the same rag dunked in the same water for far too long. The air vents are covered in a thick layer of dust and grime that waves in the breeze. See attached picture. Definitely avoid, if at all possible. You know, as far as air ducts are concerned, that, you know, that is, looks pretty clean <laughs> from this photo. You want, I've seen some fucking nasty ass air ducts before. Three point six. That's, that's, that's quality Applebee's. I'm going to try to skip over the ones that talk about waiting too long in lineups because it's not really funny. The funnier ones are when they go on about the corn dogs. Uh, first time we came, my fish and chips were crispy on the outside and cold and undercooked on the inside. This time we went back for the endless wings. So many issues. My one star goes to our waitress who was friendly. Out table had not been wiped off when we sat down there's visible black mold on the bar wall i could see it from the booth the place didn't seem very sanitized food was slow it took almost 30 minutes for boneless wings and fries we ordered a caesar salad that never came out we got a wing refill with a flavor we didn't want because it was delivered to the wrong table some boneless wings were skimpy on the meat, mostly breading. I wonder how much management cares. I won't be back. I went to a family diner at uh, Applebee's a few nights. I went to a family dinner at Applebee's a few nights ago. And the amount of bad language and nonsense I heard from one of the managers, I didn't like it. I caught the name that the server called her, Tiara. But I was appalled by her immaturity. What bothered me the most was the amount of swear words used in front of my children. I need measures to be taken for this behavior. A manager. The truth is that she did not behave like one. Nor was she dressed like a manager. She showed her 
she showed her stomach. And when she crouched down, she showed her entire tail. And apart from that, she spent all her time sitting on the bar with someone. The truth is I'm very disappointed. Yes, I don't. I appreciate that. Thank you. Don't think I'll be coming here again. Watched as one poor waiter rushed up from the table to table trying to keep up. Absolutely nothing on my waiter. He was great aside from not being able to sit us with utensils. Took 15 minutes to get water out to us. And the food was okay. Tasted microwaved. Clearly a poor managed place and looked understaffed. I don't want reparations from your management. Get better. We obviously went for the Dollaritas, but decided to eat there as well. But the food was not it. The honey chicken tenders with the mac and cheese was watery as hell. Then the shrimp and chicken gravy was not even gravy. Straight oil. Definitely will not be dining again. As soon as you walk in, it smells horrible. You have to go to a restaurant, and it smells horrible. You just turn around and you leave. But uh, dosy fumes. It doesn't take that kind of advice. We waited an hour. We waited while. Okay. We waited a while to be seated. Once seated, someone took our drink order, but yet we waited 15 minutes while the waiter counted his money and another watched the game. Lack of structure from management. They probably drop the food on the floor and still cook it regardless. Very unprofessional. Ordered food from Grubhub. Meal for my girlfriend and I. Food came in 45 minutes, minutes, missing one whole meal. Bourbon chicken and shrimp. Called Applebee's, they said to call Grubhub. Grubhub called, say, Applebee's. I resent the whole order, but the chicken was 100% raw and cold. We're going to get Applebee's and Grubhub a bad review. Chicken, it was 100% raw and cold. I mean, I gotta say, that's pretty fucking disgusting looking. That looked like undercooked fish. Food was horrible. My salad was all trash pieces of romaine. I had to send back the salad and my first steak because I ordered medium and they brought me a well done steak. The second steak in the picture was cooked right but tasted so bland and horrible. The waiter was confused and very unprofessional, laughing and joking instead of taking our orders and making us wait so we could talk to other employees. I mean, this looks like the middle section of a romaine salad, I guess. I don't know.
horrible. This was my first and last time at this location. When I walked in, there was no host set up at the front, so I was confused and had to ask someone at the bar where to go and to be seated. When directed to the host, I asked if I could sit at a particular booth and her response was, no, no, no. Then I noticed a couple who was waiting at the bar before I arrived, must have requested it before me. So she sat them there. All she had to say was, a party asked for it before you, but I will still try to accommodate you. So the no, no, no is just so unprofessional. The food was also horrible. The fries were not good. The burger was overcooked with no flavor. The bun was stale. The only thing I enjoyed was the brownie bite. Shake my motherfucking head. Waste of money. The bathrooms are a mess. And when I finally got a look of the manager, it all makes sense. I worked at Applebee's location for 11 years and the manager would never allow this. The host had to clean the bathrooms every hour. <laughs> On the hour, if there were any complaints, we would get addressed immediately. I wonder what this person meant when they said they looked at the manager and, they, and it all made sense. <laughs> uh, okay. It was my wife's birthday. We ordered our food. My wife food came first. Ten minutes late, mine came. I ordered a eight ounce steak. They gave me a beat up six ounce. I had to wait over 30 minutes for my dinner. My wife was done eating. I was told by the manager that my meal would be on the house. Stood there in my face, lied to me. He took $10 off my bill. I'll never go back there again. If not for me and people like me, you wouldn't have a business. Show some damn respect for your customers. Came here the other day with my wife and kids and the service was just exhausting. The waitress never came to check if our food was good or to check if we needed any refills on our drinks. None of our food was brung altogether. My son had to practically eat off my plate because his food came in 20 minutes later and all he ordered was just a simple small mac and cheese. Not only that, once we were all finished with everything, the waitress kept attending other tables knowing it had flagged her down three times for us to get the check. I ordered all you can eat wings. The Parmesan garlic was pretty good. The bartender did a terrible job on my frozen margarita. They took it off my tab. She was nice though. My stomach started hurting, so I had TP hurry home. Usually when this happened, the food is not fresh. I will not be going back. When I say horrible, I mean horrible. The one on Aramingo is better. I was a server here for three weeks before I just quit. Management is trash. Except Rich. The kitchen cooks are nasty. Bathroom always dirty. Flies all around the restaurant. Ugh. Just go to Aramingo Applebee's or Thinking down Applebee's much better. <laughs> Not a good place to go. 
charged twice for the same meal. Now I know why it was only seven people in there. Damn shame how they steal. Should be against the law. <laughs> the photo does not match the review. <laughs> uh. Six star Applebee's. Oh, must be some quality in ones in here. Worst restaurant experience of my life. The waiter didn't even speak to us. I want to believe that we are tourists and that our English is not perfect, but this does not excuse the attitude of the waiter. The restaurant was pretty empty. It was 8.30 p.m. and we got our dishes at 9.15 p.m. Some tables received their meals before us and even if they arrived long after, we had to ask for utensils and napkins when paying. The server did not say a word, not even a thank you, good evening, nothing. Never seen that in my life. We saw a customer sit down, look at the menu, and leave after about 10 minutes because no waiter went in to see him. When we arrived in the restaurant, we found that tables were not cleaned. What about the toilets? The smell of urine was atrocious, both in that of the woman and the both in that of the woman and that of the men. Place to avoid. I regret not having read the reviews on the internet before going there. I was relying on the chain. What a mistake. looking ice cream I gotta say um, so I'm just looking kind of skimming these looking for good reviews Andy the fork appreciate that thank you please sample one or two from Tennessee <laughs> All right. let's go to some Tennessee Applebee's no, there's not that many 3.8 These have some pretty high reviews, except for maybe this one. Okay, here's a good looking review. This place is hilarious. And if it wasn't for me having a free gift card, I would not be here specifically. After hearing all the other bad reviews previous to me. It's always empty in the, in the lot, and now... And I see how empty it is inside. The food isn't good. The fries are the worst. Eh. Uh, to add to that, they told us that we were probably too late to order. We arrived at 11.33. They closed at 12. Before seating us, they went to ask if we were too late. The bartender saw us and hollered out, last call. 
Who goes to an Applebee's at fucking 11.30, 3pm? I asked the host if the kitchen is closing and the bar is saying last call and what are people to do, seeing as though they don't close until 12 and she just shrugged her shoulders. The waiter then told us she has to see if she can place our order because the kitchen is supposed to close at 11.30. Goodness gracious, I see why they fell off the map. They should have stayed gone and have space for someone else to make an appearance. The waiter tried her best to do all she could, which was appreciated, and no, it was must suck to work in an environment like this. Food doesn't even match the menu. The appetizer of boneless wings were so cold, the sauce just sat stiff on them. Oh, and to top it off, we were we only got two single forks to eat with chicken instead of a set. But I guess we were too late to get the works. We were too late to get the works. I walked in 23 minutes before a restaurant closes. Almost midnight. Applebee's. Everyone's tired after working a nine-hour shift. And they couldn't give me two utensils. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Ah! They took a picture of the food. Ah! These cooks don't like to work. Get a new job. A horrible experience. I was told there was one short staff. And there was no one, literally no one at the Applebee's. They were telling everyone a one hour wait. The manager started telling the workers to tell people they are closed at 5 p.m. Waited to be seated for one hour, then waited another hour and still didn't get any type of service. Waiter came to me and Guys, if you spend an hour at a restaurant and no one's serving you, you just you just get up and leave. You don't you don't stick it out. It's it's like sunk cost fallacy. Okay, here we go. So run down inside. Blood all over the floor in the bathroom stall. Overall inside, didn't feel clean inside, even though people were actively cleaning. It was just a murder, just like a murder scene happened in the bathroom. The staff are just cleaning it up, and this guy's like trying to go to Applebee's. <laughs> Waitress delivered our food, appetizer, and platter without care. She was sticking her thumb in our food both times. I was disturbed to see grease on her thumb from other orders and made note to avoid eating from anything she physically touched. The, fo the frozen margarita we ordered, melon and strawberry, was not frozen. 90% pure liquid at the bottom with a little chopped ice at the top. It wasn't pleasant. My husband didn't want to complain and he drank about half and left it. I'm so sad to see that this is the only Applebee's in our area. We had the loaded waffle fries. One of the best appetizers I had in a long time. I had a steak and shrimp platter. The steak was really, really good. And I really enjoyed the shrimp. Really wanted this to be an amazing experience. The location is in desperate need of a makeover and some training. The drink was visibly unacceptable and should not have been delivered and delivering food with your fingers in it is unsanitary and made me extremely uncomfortable. It's a weird review. She like really enjoyed her food but then hated everything else. <laughs> I went there to have a drink, to have a dinner. Even though I didn't, it. It's hard to read these with all the grammatical errors. I'm kind of just reading them as they're written, so. At 9.10 p.m., I went here to have dinner. 
Even though I didn't it, I ordered an appetizer. That was old and by the looks of it, one can tell it had sat under a warmer for upwards of one hour, possibly from a return. The plate was dirty. The server said the item was fresh and the plate, despite being normal, was normal. After trying two pieces of tortilla chips, they broke in half. For the hardness of the dip. Hmm. The item was returned. I ordered the main entree shown well. Let's just say I paid for mushrooms and only got onions. Water? With lemon? Yes. Thank you. It was only after I'd finished eating and while requesting my receipt, I said, And you can make the water to go! My request was met in th with an apology. The level of service here is well below standards and would not recommend. Things aren't good when the hardness of your dip breaks your tortilla chip. I will say that dip looks pretty hard though. And those chips look pretty thin. The worst experience ever. I was served raw chicken. I called the store and I was offered a free meal. I felt I deserved a refund. I was served raw chicken. Not to mention the onion rings were gross. The entire meal was awful. I called corporate, the manager of that store, to get a refund. I tried reaching out to him the next week so I could pick up my refund when it should have been refunded back to my card. But two weeks, I still have not heard back from him. I guess there was a time limit to getting money refunded okay this guy's just going on and on about being refunded I just that that look that does look pretty gross though I gotta say I would not eat that chicken it, very wet and pink looking there in here for the first time would not recommend this place it was horrible the dining seats were torn and everything was stale and outdated as far as the atmosphere the food was even worse ordered a steak medium well and it arrived well done took forever to serve and the waitress was slow to serve when my food finally arrived I had to wait 10 minutes that's like a kind of typical review. I'm looking for the ones with the hilarious anecdotes. Oh, this looks like it might be good. I was in your store today. I was actually on my lunch break. And I listened to my server, Brenna, be spoken to by your operations manager in an indecent manner. She was told by the line cook that the boneless wings and burger would be 30 minutes. There was only three tables set. Brianna was working to see what she, working to see what would take so long. And she was told it was not the time nor the place to discuss the issues with her not receiving our order. Your operations manager, Nicole, informed Brianna that she better not say another damn word or she would not have a job. She most definitely did her best to get out our food. We have experienced long waits on food on multiple occasions, and this should be addressed. I feel bad for Brianna.
I went around 10 p.m. I ordered the four cheese mac and cheese with honey pepper shrimp fried and a margarita. I was told there was no bread of any kind available to serve. The only person working the front of the house was the bartender. As she had been there with no support since the doors had opened that morning. Considering her situation, she had an amazing attitude. This is not a good spot to come right now for anything. There are several items on the menu not available. They lack the staff to keep the place going. Pretty reasonable review. This was my blackened salmon. Worst restaurant experience I've ever had. Place is absolutely filthy. It stinks really bad. I wish I could give it a zero. All right, well, uh, you know, I mean, that's fucked up looking for a salmon. As your salmon's got to be cooked all the way through. You know, most salmon's flash frozen, but salmon is one of those fishes that has uh, possibilities of having parasites in it. And, uh, you know, I would never eat a salmon that looked like that. It's like orange. The single worst Applebee's experience I've ever had. Our order took more than an hour to prepare. It was a simple order, and that takes most Applebee's locations a few minutes at most. Okay, if you go to a restaurant and it, it usually only takes them a couple minutes at most to prepare your food, you shouldn't be going to that restaurant. But the grilled chicken's Asian salad was almost all chicken. The impossible burger was served with the usual fries and was not an impossible burger and was not an impossible burger but a regular meat one with a double patty this guy's complaining about getting a double meat patty real hamburger instead of an impossible burger a cardinal sin when serving a vegetarian when I sent it back the manager had the nerve to come out and argue with me about it. The Caesar salad was served with no dressing, and the steamed broccoli was so overdone as to be inedible. For this was, for this they had to serve, they had the nerve to charge me seventy-five dollars and didn't offer so much as a penny for all their errors. I, I don't know, man. I just, it, 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 you go into Applebee's. To get an, uh, an impossible burger. I th it's the, the the flaw was in the in, in the plan. It's like it wasn't necessarily the execution. This has got to be the worst restaurant in Berry Hill. They consistently ignore when you come in. There's seldom a host or a hostess, and when there is, he or she does their absolute best to ignore you or compel you to leave. <laughs> yes, yes, Crystal. Okay, that is pretty funny. Though. That seems to be a, a recurring theme with Applebee's. I'm going to read this one with the emojis. After our, after our arrival, it took at least 10 minutes before waiting at the reception before we were shown our table. 
All staff seem bored, totally disinterested in providing a good customer experience. Food we had, ribs and fries, were very average, with the fries being cold and hard. If this were the first Applebee's I'd visited, I wouldn't try another. Having had first-class experiences on other numerous branches throughout different parts of the USA on my visits from the UK, I cannot recommend this establishment at all. Guy comes from the UK and goes to an Applebee's. It's for a different location. For those who don't know, Applebee's is just a chain restaurant, and uh, in my opinion, they're essentially a, a fast food restaurant, like McDonald's or whatever, but they just have like a nicer, like front of house, so you can kind of like pretend that you're at a, like a restaurant. <laughs> It's just, it's just all this, they're all the same. Applebee's. Let's, I gotta find like a great place. Three point six. Went and ordered drinks. Drinks looked completely different from picture to picture with no explanation. One drink came with a hair in it. Several times the orders were messed up and there was no empathy or concern from staff, like it was a normal thing. This was Thursday, the 14th, at around 11 p.m. Won't be back to this location. We ordered the electric Long Island and tipsy drinks. Both tasted like watered-down Kool-Aid. We didn't even drink them in the end. I had to order more shots with no hair in it. So, for visual reference, this is the Tipsy Sunset. And this is the Electric Long Island. You see how they, like, it kind of has like a blue ink floating down into it or whatever it is. Food coloring, which is probably what it is, actually, food coloring. I mean, that it, it's it. That's what like that's. It's not gonna look all swirly like that because it basically they just drop the food coloring into it. Oof. Don't, do not go orders $30 for this thin piece of steak, and then they only put four pieces of shrimp and paid $5 extra for onion ring, and I didn't even get the onion rings. So infuriating paying for something you don't receive. How the photos look is exactly how I received my food when I went to pick it up. I mean, it looks pretty gross. Oof. Dude. Okay. Took over an hour to be seated. Food, spinach, artichoke, dip was served with stale chips. Had the four mac cheese, mac and cheese you could tell right away was sitting under a heat lamp, was cold in the middle. My family's food was also cold in the middle. Fries were ridiculously salty. Service was horrible. Over 10 minutes to get a cup of waters and two sodas. We, my family, ordered salad as an appetizer then they were served with no utensils. Took another 10 minutes to flag down a waitress for utensils. That 
atmosphere. Do not come here if you have children and actually want to be able to have a conversation with the people sitting at your table. When the waitress was talking, our orders had to yell due to the music blaring. We asked for it to be lowered, but the waitress smirked, said, oh, sure, right away. And about a minute later, the music changes, booty shaking club music, talking about popping, grinding, and licking parts of your body with a staff dancing in the background, and the volume was increased. Really inappropriate music for a supposed family restaurant. I wouldn't want to be eating a, f a four cheese mac and cheese with poppin' music and booty dancing. This restaurant has cockroaches and needs to be shut down for a full extermination. I saw one on our booth seat. I told the manager who was unsurprised. He nonchalantly told me they had been spraying it for a month now, but the cockroaches kept reappearing. Sorry. Nonchalantly told me they have been spraying it for a month now, but the cockroaches kept reappearing. The manager was unsympathetic. It didn't seem to care how this affects the dining experience. We already ate and paid for our meal before this happened, and we almost purged our food out. Hopefully the bugs in it aren't in the kitchens, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hopefully the bugs aren't in the kitchens, too. If they had cockroaches for at least a month, which he admitted, the place needs to be closed. That's pretty, that's pretty gross. But I just like how this guy's holding up for the fact that maybe the cockroaches aren't in the kitchen. Very rude associate. Skitty bald white male with glasses. Looks like he just got off the work. Look, looks like he just got off work off a dirty construction site. Kind of short with ugly inappropriate tattoos. Bald. No or little hair. White guy standing talking to all the servers by the pickup order entrance. I watched as the bald white guy and the team ignored four different delivery drivers. <laughs> I like how this guy just keeps going on about how this guy is bald and white. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay. Found a roach in my food. And the managers were rude. Not helpful at all. And I waited for 15 minutes for a manager to come because they were too busy talking to other employees. It's more like a club than a family restaurant. <laughs> Wait, waiter was bald. <laughs> One star. <laughs> Nevada. Nate, that's funny, man. <laughs> the audacity of that fucking waiter. Serve me with his bald head and his white skin. <laughs>
some of these don't look that bad, like the pictures. I'm just reading the one-star reviews, but I'm sure most experiences at Applebee's are probably okay. Maybe. I still don't like going to Applebee's. I haven't been doing Applebee's since I was like a teenager. They don't really have them in Quebec here. Oh, am I in Mexico right now? Okay, no. <laughs> There's an Applebee's in Mexico, apparently. I bet you it's like probably pretty good. Why are these people all writing in English though? It's... Oh my god. Okay, so that's the original. I guess they were writing in Spanish. Applebee's in Mexico, man. Okay. Let's go to a different place. If I remember correctly, Montgomery had some pretty good, pretty good reviews. Read this one. Hmm. Horrible. Just go somewhere else. Drinks were watery. I had to send them back. Food took so long to get to me, I asked the manager to cancel the order and they responded, Food just came up. But still, we waited. When I received my burger, the fries were not on the plate. So I had to wait more for them as well, and as another 10 minutes for a cup of barbecue sauce. Ordered the cinnamon swirl as well. They were burnt and pretty much inedible. To even serve something like this. That looked that way was beyond me. I don't know. They're cinnamon swirls. I don't know what they're supposed to look like. They were out of crayons for my three-year-old. And then, give her a kid's menu. After asking the manager and two staff members, I got a pin from the server. The drinks were 20 minutes to the table. Appetizers came with the main course and the chips for the appetizer were cooked way too long. They tasted burnt. They tasted gritty. The only decent thing I can say about this trip was the main course was decent. They were also out of strawberries that are on the kids' menu. The manager seemed like she was having too much fun laughing with co-workers to care about any of these issues and didn't bother to come to the table to explain. I was so surprised by the mediocre staff Applebee's had running this Applebee's by the time we got our main course, I didn't even want it. I was drinking my water and a water bug leg 
was sticking out my straw and my water was hot, like boiling hot. And this lady said that I might have to wait. And I told her, ma'am, you wait. That one reads like poetry. First, as a professional corporate establishment, you should hold your employees to higher standards. Having a female bartender with hardly any teeth, and the ones she did have were rotten, should have been my first clue to leave. In my experience, bartenders are usually some of the most professional, skilled, and presentable workers of any establishment. Clearly, this place does not follow the same industry standards of approachability. This one couldn't remember orders and had to repeat them several times. I had a difficult time understanding her and kept having to ask her to repeat herself. Additionally, I watched her cough into her hands and handle items in the bar without washing her hands. I mean... Generally, you want your bartenders to have teeth, but I wouldn't hold it against them if they didn't. Desidano, I appreciate that. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Let's go to a different one. With 3.4, that's the lowest I've seen. I was the only person sitting in the dining area and it took nearly 40 minutes forever to get my order. The waiter said they were cleaning the kitchen. I asked if the food was coming and if not, I could go. He said my order was coming up in five minutes. I ordered the blackened Cajun salmon. When I was finally served my food, the plate was hot, but the salmon was not. Potatoes and veggies were cold. I asked for the manager. When she came to my table, I told her about the food. I informed her that the temperature of the food was dangerous and told her my stomach was feeling funny. She offered to recook the order over. After about 15 minutes, a waitress brought the plate back. It was so disgusting. They should have been embarrassed to share food that way. It was evident the food had been scraped off the plate and nothing had been recooked. The waitress brought me the same plate I had originally eaten from. I asked to see the manager again. She came back and I was upset. I asked her, why would you serve me something like this? She had no explanation. So nonchalant about it had said she was going to comp the order. I'd left. My stomach is messed up from Applebee's negligence. They're making people sick and need to be sanctioned by Hobb County's health inspector. Actually, pretty well written review. Probably pretty reasonable complaint. I don't immediately see what's wrong with the food here, but... It's 
probably worse in person. What I see is bartender Juan seemed incompetent in cap locks. Let's get this one. This is these reviews. Oh, three, three point four here. server had an attitude the whole time, was not paying attention to us, drinks were empty the entire time and paying more attention to our kids, which I'm not mad at. Kept having an, att an attitude with one of my friends and the manager was no help. All Applebee's needs to do is shut down, the food was good but y'all's workers are terrible. I can't, I, can't, I can't read this one. I'm like dyslexic with this, with this one in particular. I ordered a Hennessy margarita, and this is what I got. Only margarita mix, no Hennessy at all. Regardless of what Ashley, the manager, said, Hennessy is a strong tasting drink, and even if it was just a splash, you should be able to still taste it. And the color is saying it for itself. I was very disappointed. And we'll never order another alcoholic beverage from Applebee's again. Dude, you know how much where they make their money? That's how they manage to have these buildings all over the world. Is they sell you $20 cocktails and they put a drip of alcohol in there. I'm trying to figure out how someone can place an order for chicken alfredo to receive what looks like pasta sides. I'm under the impression that Uber Eats is working with restaurants to not hold them accountable for missing slash incorrect slash harmful food. I don't know what to tell you, man, but... If you order something off of Uber Eats, and this is what it looks like, I would never order off of Uber Eats ever again. It, I guess it comes down to the restaurant, but what the fuck is that? That's like about 30 cents worth of pasta and a, a corn dog or whatever the hell that is. Oh, that's, I like this one. It's got Pepe the Frog in the icon. This place needs to be shut down. Absolutely disgusting and hazardous conditions in this place. Horrible service and even worse food. I found plastic in my food and my daughter found hair in hers. Can't imagine what the kitchen looks like. Female manager literally scratching our hair and serving food at the same time horrible order 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 of marijuana throughout the restaurant coming from the staff I 
I don't like if you work in a disgusting location, I don't I could never imagine like smoking marijuana because it kind of like enhances your experiences. So you'd just be like experiencing like grossness. At like a stronger like at a strong stronger scale, you know what I mean? This is by far the worst place ever to send someone pasta with no sauce. If I could do a review without a star, that's what I would give them. Then, to say since my husband picked it up, they would not fix it, and she'd have looked at it before leaving. I'm sure he thought I did, that the sauce was at the bottom of the container. For someone who don't eat pasta, he wouldn't know. Manager is just horrible. I see why people don't go here. I don't see any sauce at the bottom, but see this container? I 100% I guarantee you that this is how the food looks like in their storage facility, like frozen. They just microwave that shit and then they put it on a plate. But this person just had her frozen food microwaved and is paying like like a, an, like a 50 times X factor on it because it comes out of a restaurant. went there after my father's funeral. We had to fight off gnats or some sort of flying insect. We told management. Management said they had the same issue around the bar area. I spent $300. Management wouldn't give us anything off the meal. We were told we would get a gift emailed to me. Never received it. There was a dirty used mask on the floor next to the table. The food is mediocre. They need to do something about the flying insects. <laughs> Alright everyone, my father just died. It's time to go to the nearest Applebee's and swat the gnats away. It took 45 minutes just to get fries to my kids. I like how she capitalized fry, like, and then she put an apostrophe S. 
<laughs> it's like possessive. Like fries. It's like a name or something. The waitress was very nice. But only came a few times in 45 minutes. I was waiting for my food. Sorry. I don't take my melatonin pills because I can't sleep. I'll read a couple more reviews and I might call it quits for tonight. I started off with some pretty good reviews. Some people complaining about bullet holes and corn dogs and stuff. But a lot of these reviews are kind of a, the same. I'm looking for those like unhinged rants that kind of go on forever. Hadn't been here in a while, so I decided to check it out. First red flag was when my server Angel brought out my water. It had brown stuff floating around the cup. After placing my order for some appetizers in my meal, I watched two different sets of guests who arrived after me get their apps, food, and drinks before I received anything. When I finally received something, it was my entree. Still no signs of the apps. Appetizers. I asked for my steak medium well, and it came out almost burned. I asked Angel to have them cook it over because it wasn't in what I asked for. At this point, she had a nasty attitude. I sat in that place for another 15 minutes before my apps came out. Another 20 after the apps for me entree. When I did get my food, Angel didn't bring silverware. That was another five minute wait. I was unable to get a refill on my water or my drink to my angel, to my server angel standing up across the room talking to other employees. And when I told her I've been waiting for refills, she stated that she was busy doing other stuff. I guess she didn't realize I could see her the whole time. All in all, uh, it was a pretty bad experience, but I placed most of the blame on the young lady serving me. She had a real bad attitude, and she didn't try to hide it. I would tell anyone not to go here, but if you do, and your server's name is Angel, your best bet is to get out of there fast. Best part was the music, and we weren't there for that. First, we walked in at 7.30 and were told there was a 20 to 25 minute wait. We gave our name and number and waited. I told my fiance they forgot about us. They sure did. Not a call. We had to wait while the lady cleaned one of the few dirty tables. We ordered right away, giving the benefit of the doubt, whereas we should have known it was going to be horrible. The cheese sticks tasted freezer burned, and our whiskey bacon cheeseburger was the grossest thing I've ever eaten from an Applebee's restaurant. So very disappointed. Trying to keep it local, well, definitely not coming back to this one.
The burger tasted like it was cooked in oil. Saved for eight weeks. Nasty and greasy. I couldn't finish it. Beware, there's a thief somewhere there on a parking lot at a diner after a hard day and noticed the broken passenger window of my car. My backpack was stolen as well. Fortunately, it contained only lunchbox and shaker. Stay away from that place. Poor dude gets his shit stolen after... Probably working some shit job somewhere. That sucks, man. <laughs> ah, that would suck, dude. The only thing he did wrong was spell words. <laughs> and very difficult to read. Um. Uh, Oh man, this Google thing, it just, uh, I don't like it. It's hard to use. Keeps going up and down, like. I think I feel like next time I do this, I should save the best ones. walked in with family to celebrate a birthday. They blast in Meek Mill music. Which looks... If you want to play... If you want to play that, that's one thing. But when I, when I asked if they could turn it down since it was so loud, they ignored it. We left before being seated. Apparently this Applebee's is known reputation for being incredibly ghetto. <laughs> What is Meek Mill? What is Meek Mill? I've never heard of Meek Mill before. I went to Applebee's the other day to get my favorite dish. The salmon loaded mashed potatoes and broccoli. Dot, dot, dot. I placed my order and waited about 30 to 45 minutes. And then, voila, my order came out and the waiter served us the food. My friend had a bacon cheeseburger with fries and I had the Simon with loaded potatoes and broccoli. Her bacon cheeseburger and fries were made to order, so they was hot when I got it. But my order, which I thought was supposed to be made to order, wasn't I received a very hot plate with cold food on top of it? It just blew my mind because I thought my food was cooked to order. Apparently, it's cooked. Warm up your food in a microwave and send it out to you. Type a store. I will never ever go to Applebee's ever again. You were warned. W-O-R-N. I can't believe they would have the audacity to microwave a Simon. Fuck, man. What is that? Shit. Looks like, uh... Looks like asbestos with blood in it. Buffalo wings were good up till I started eating a raw one. 
I talked to a manager and he offered me one chicken wing for 50 cents off my bill. What a joke. I never eat there again. Goddamn. <laughs> such a shame that this place is such a dump. They tricked me with TV commercial. And then I walked in and bought some garbage. Not good food. Sorry, guy. Didn't mean to trash your business, but mini steak and trashy veggies were not okay. Don't even feel comfortable doing this. That's a good review. He's like, speaks with conviction, and he he writes like po like poetically almost. It's got a flow to it. They tricked me with TV commercial. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all TV commercials do. They trick you. If I could give it zero stars, I would. I know we were there on a Valentine's Day. But the first clue that we should have run is that they lost their liquor license. My husband had been watching commercials for Applebee's and wanted to go. <laughs> Sorry. My husband's been... My husband has been watching Applebee's commercials for a while now. He's been watching them for the past six months. Finally, he looked at me... He met me in, in the eyes and he's looked at me and said... I think it's time. Don't underestimate the power of advertising. We waited 40 minutes in a cold, wet car for our table. The foyer had a strong perfume of cannabis. We waited 20 minutes to place our order, and then 20 minutes later, the waiter said he forgot to put it in. The microwave. And we had to give it to him again. It took forever to get the chips and spinach and artichoke dip. I had chicken and shrimp, which was decent, not great. My husband and daughter had steak. That was so subpar, it wasn't worth bringing the leftovers home for our dog. All I can say for the evening is that at least I had great company. <laughs> we waited 40 minutes in a cold, wet car for a table. Bro. What the fuck? Just go to a different restaurant. An absolute armpit of a restaurant. I don't know why I read it in that voice. So sad, never going back. What can I say? The food and dessert was good, but the waitress was horrible, horrible, horrible. My son asked for a glass of milk and she came back with less than half a glass and said, that's all we have, which was fine, of course. My son is a very polite individual. He kindly asked how much he was going to be charged for. 
little milk and she rudely responded, I could have charged you for a kid's milk if I wanted to, but I'm not. She responded rudely. When my son was asking her something else, she rudely walked away and left him talking by himself. I'm sorry, son, that you had to experience such rudeness for no reason, sweetheart. I like how she's like writing a message for her son in this review. Let's go to a different location. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I should be going to the well-reviewed Applebee's and reading the one-star reviews. Because if I feel like if I'm going to the, the poorly rated Applebee's, I'm probably going to get some legitimate grievances. But if I go to the high-rated ones, it's more likely you're going to find the unhinged one-star review rants. Am I correct in that assumption? Let's go to a four-star one. Or 4.1 or 4.2. I came here with my family of eight. We ordered two medium mile sticks, which both came medium rare. One was sent back, and it was given back to us still medium rare. We made sure to be respectful and polite to the server. I still work lately, disappointed in the service that we received. We spent over $150. The potatoes tasted like wet dog. Worst experience ever. We ordered a neighborhood, a neighborhood burger, and the prime ripped, the prime rib dipper. the The burger was so burnt I couldn't even bite it. The lettuce was brown. The prime rib dipper was also so burnt, and only half of it had meat on it. The other half was just bread. We fed it to our dogs. I also ordered a new Triple Cherry Shirley Temple, but it was red. Did not taste like a Shirley Temple. It tasted like carbonated water. Their house-made ranch tasted like it was spoiled. I paid extra for onion rings and got three small onion rings. Hands down, the worst restaurant I've ever ordered from. I like it when people write out like the like the corporatized name version of the food that they're ordering. Like I'm supposed to know what a prime rib dipper is or a neighborhood burger. <laughs> Oh, 
Let's change it up a bit. Let's go to some... Let's go to some Canadian Applebee's from my hometown of Nova Scotia. I think there's only like one. Uh, I guess there's not even one anymore. There used to be one, maybe. There's no Applebee's in Nova Scotia. The apple seed? That's not, that's not correct. Uh, do we have Applebee's in Canada anymore? Yes, of course we do. Oh, two point, what is this place? Three stars, Jesus. I don't know where these Applebee's Apple Dude, how is we definitely have Applebee's in Canada. Unless maybe not. Maybe they all closed down over the years. find some good reviews here. That's a pretty undercooked looking ch what is that? Chicken? Yeah. I only ordered a Mountain Dew and the chicken wontons, and it took forever to get both of them. Then, there was the same dirty plate I ate my food on. I know the waitress' name, but I'm not going to put it on here. I told her, I know this isn't your fault, but my plate is greasy and dirty. She said that the reason why the plate was greasy and dirty was because sometimes their plates are dirty like dishes at home, and I'm paraphrasing. What she said was worse than that. Luckily for the manager who deemed this place was very kind. Luckily the manager who redeemed this place was very kind and got the job done. However, I'm still not giving this place a one star. I'm still giving this place a one star even after a Gave her a good tip, she was still rude. What, what is that woman talking about? Yeah, sometimes the plates are dirty because, you know... You know how it's like when your plates are dirty sometimes? <laughs> so... Got the steak I ordered medium, but it was very well done. Rest of food was cold. Asked for a steak to be redone. Came back with the fattiest steak I've ever seen and again well done. Manager brought the second one. Had me cut it open. Explained, no, that's well done. Not medium. He said, well, I don't want it to be rare. What? LOL. I said, no. Medium is pink. Wish I could un upload the pictures of my food. He rolled his eyes, shook his head, and walked away. Don't really care for Applebee's, but in town, with my family, you'd think if you get the most expensive thing on the menu, it'd at least 
look like it's supposed to. Or have a manager that knows what customer service means. I think after he realized the top, he topped it off with a bad job. He came and tried to give me a free dinner at Applebee's card. If you saw my food, I would never be back again. I mean, it sounds to me like they don't know how to cook a steak. Alrighty, everyone. I think I've had enough for today. Thank you for, uh... I don't know what the term is. Um... Thank you for, uh, joining me on this adventure of Applebee's Reviews. If you have, uh, any requests, you know, if you have any suggestions for, like, other companies reviews that might be funnier than Applebee's because I feel like some of these were funny maybe about like three percent of them were very good uh maybe I'll, I'll read those out on a different stream sometime in the future just uh leave it as a comment in the uh stream if that's possible not like in the chat but like a, a comment on the stream page anyways that's it for everyone have a good night oh by the way I'm releasing a uh a full album of music on Friday. Brand new music. 40 minutes of music. So, And I'm making vinyl records again, too. So, That's uh, coming this week. Alright, everyone. Have a good night. Bye-bye.